it's that time of year and we're all looking forward to buying new tech. And sometimes that comes in the form of trade and deals, specifically when we are looking at buying a new cell phone. But I'm here to tell you to beware of trade and deals. We're going to break down the average trade and deal. And then I'm going to show you my preferred way to buy a new device, no matter what time of year it is. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Let's dive right in. Trading in your old phone to get a new phone for free from a carrier can seem like a good deal, but really it's a trap. It's a trap. Lots of carrier trade and deals look like this. Do you want a new iPhone 15 for free? Well, at Vermobile TNT, we can get it to you for free. All you have to do is trade in your old device by our most expensive plan. Give us your firstborn child and stick with us for the next two to three years and that's it. That's it. Okay, now we're going to break it down. We're going to break down what the average trade and deal looks like and how really, although you're getting a phone for free, you're not saving any money. In fact, you'll be spending more money in the long run. So the deal is this. Generally, you trade in your old device in good working condition, and then you get, say, $1,000 to go towards a new device. You get that for free, and you have to pay it off not really, but you pay it off in increments and installment plans over the course of 24 to 36 months with any given carrier. In this case, Vermobile, TNT. Generally, you also have to sign up for their most expensive plan, which can range anywhere from 80 to $95. At this point, is a free phone worth it? In my opinion, absolutely not, especially if you're going with one of the major carriers. In fact, my preferred way to buy a new phone is to buy it directly from the manufacturer like Samsung or Apple, and you pay that off with zero interest over the course of two years, depending on what kind of installment plan you're getting from the manufacturer. And then you can take your phone to any smaller carrier like Visible Mobile or Mint Mobile, and your plan is cut in half, if not more, saving you thousands of dollars, even when you add on the cost of the phone. Now I've built out a simple little spreadsheet here. Let's take a look. Even when you add in the cost of an iPhone and you take it to a smaller carrier, you are saving money versus staying with a major carrier and paying it off over the course of two to three years on an expensive plan. You're saving hundreds of dollars in some cases more. Now, all of this to say, don't fall into the trap of getting a free phone from a trade and deal from one of the major carriers just because of the ease and because it looks nice. Because if you put in a little bit more work, you can save money. And I think that in my opinion, is worth it. Now, there are a few caveats here in which I say go for it, buy from a major carrier. If you're on a family plan and the cost per line goes down significantly with multiple people on your plan, then stick with it because I am on AT&T and my unlimited plan costs me less than $40 a month with the amount of people on my plan. So it would be worth it for me to stick around because I'm not spending an arm and a leg on the most expensive plan. And if you're planning on sticking with that major carrier for two to three years regardless, then it might be easy to just stick with them if you know you like the service and you're not really worried about saving a few hundred bucks or more. Now, those are my two reasons why maybe you might want to buy from Vermobile, TNT. Otherwise, buy from the manufacturer and pay it off over the course of two years. That way the upfront cost, the barrier of entry is much lower and take it to a smaller carrier. What do you think of trade and deals? Do you think they are worth it? How do you normally buy a new phone when you think it is time to upgrade? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Thanks for watching.